Hey, welcome back to Rogues and Role Players. Jared did a little homework uh, in between episodes and found something very interesting on the interwebs. Yeah, we, we, I mentioned like what happened to like some of these characters, so we I looked up and found a, a, a list of some of the, the lost and never even like used characters for Sonic the Hedgehog. So uh, apparently, at some point, there was somebody named Ray the Flying Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> in a, I think it was a Japanese only arcade game. It was a Sega Sonic Arcade was the name of the game. Yeah, he uh, he looks like a, an extremely terrifying Tails. <laughs> like like if you were looking at concept art for Tails, that's kind of what he looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw up a picture yeah, of him. Throw up a picture he, of him, uh, please. He's just 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 look at him and take him in. It's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow indeed I, wow indeed it's not it's not bad it's just kind of unsettling for some reason yeah it looks very strange i, to I say think he least. looks too much like like his facial structure looks like an exact copy of sonic but he has like that that like two hot dogs stuck together lips <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I keep uh, about but, uh, yeah. He was he was joined by uh, Mighty the Armadillo, who people actually probably might know. He uh, he stuck around for a little bit, and I think he's was he part of the Chaotix? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember who the I think Chaotix. He, I think he was part of Chaotix, and then he just like disappeared. I, I remember I remember B, and I remember the crocodile guy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Charmy the Bee, um, there was, I believe it was Espio, the chameleon, and then I, I forget the crocodile. I don't know, he might be in this list, but the, the next one that I I, rem I, was, I mentioned him earlier, uh, I think I may have called him the wrong animal, but it was uh, Knack the Weasel, or AKA Fang the Sniper. He was in uh, Sonic Fighters. And he was the one that, like, a lot of people, like, I remember some people, like, really liked him, even because he was, <laughs> he was so different from everybody, and he was a treasure hunter. He would be, like, he would be, like, you know, before Rouge was even, like, an idea, he, he would have been, like, a counter to, like, Knuckles, I guess, because he, he wanted to get the, the emeralds just to sell them, because he didn't know what the hell they did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's, let's throw up a picture of him too. Yes, <laughs> I actually really like the way he looks. And uh, there was also another character that I recognized, um, and I actually thought he was the wrong character, but it was uh, <laughs> Bean the Dynamite. Bean the Dynamite. Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> he is not Albatross. <laughs> no, for some reason I was under the impression that he was Albatross, and I was like, wait, I know that character. That's not. Is that not Albatross? I, for some reason, nope, I thought it was he, Albatross. He, he, he looks a lot like, uh, what is it, Plucky Duck from the Tiny Toons. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very polygon Plucky Duck. Oh my god. Uh, and then uh, he, was, he was also joined in Sonic Fires by uh, Bark the Polar Bear. <laughs> polar bears don't bark! <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, they needed they needed a slow bruiser type kind of character for their fighting game. I guess so. Where oh. is this stupid key? <laughs> oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. Oh wow, you you found those quick. Yeah, quicker than normal. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't like that stage though. So uh, let's not go back. But yeah, to there, it. apparently there was a couple of characters that were like designed <laughs> but never actually made it time. into something. Uh, let's see, one of them was Honey the Cat. <laughs> uh, apparently she was supposed to be in the, the fighting game, but, uh, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people didn't know this girl even existed. <laughs> what was the other one with the, see, the, 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 oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll get to her in a second. But, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> apparently Honey is a cat character with wings she uses to glide. <laughs> okay. Why would you need to glide in a fighting game? Um. Oh, it's adorable little purple bear. Oh, I love him. Yeah, this 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 chow right here is gonna be an evil chow. 
<laughs> it turned into a psychotic little purple teddy bear. <laughs> Wait, so we're, so so basically, we're gonna have the good chow, and we're gonna have the bad chow. My chow is not good in any way, shape, or form. Yours is at least starting to change colors. Mine is not. <laughs> but well, your chow is your chow's been getting raised by the hero characters. Yeah. So, I, but I mean, we're pretty much done with the hero campaign, so I don't think he's gonna get much of a chance to to go hero. <laughs> but mm. I'm I'm gonna take good care of this guy. Right here. He's, this <laughs> he's is just this is looking up to you like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are those coconuts? Are they devouring giant coconuts? I don't know. I, I always wondered what fruit those were. But I guess it's their universe. They could call what it whatever can, they what want. What am I going to name him? Um, oh, yeah, we need a name for yours. Um, hmm. While you're thinking about that, I'll tell you about this other little character that never made it into anything. <laughs> uh, her name is Tiara uh, Buboski. B O O B O W S K I. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I believe that uh, she was supposed to be a character in Sonic Extreme. I, I guess that was a game that was never made because <laughs> I have never heard of it. So uh, yeah, she she looks like an older version of uh, Amy actually, kind of. Aww. But like, oh, look at my chow! I want to say she. I want to think she. I want to say she's a cat character. I think too. I made my chow cry. Why did they? They. Why do they like sack so many of these? Are you not cat paying characters? attention to this? Oh, my chow's crying. Why did he have claw feet? When did he get those? I. Oh. What did you do to him? I just. I gave him a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did. Aww. Did the, skunk, did the skunk spray you? <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sorry. What did I do? <laughs> Yay, now he likes me more again. <laughs> sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to make you sad. That legitimately made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these little chows, they really do get into your soul. They're so endearing. But it, they don't do anything with them anymore. Oh man, I think it. I think it's pretty obvious which one is the good one, which one's the bad one. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. Apparently, Tiara is a Manx, which is a breed of cat. It's a space transporter. Huh. The destination has been set to. Ark. Okay. What is she doing? <laughs> yeah, apparently there's there's some more in there that have like come and gone, but those those are some of the more obscure ones that I've seen. <laughs> I remember being the dynamite, though. I could have sworn he was Albatross for some reason. Wait, Eggman has a teleporter to his to the space arc? I don't know. I guess we'll find out since I'm about to play as Eggman. All right, what's going on? So this is the space colony uh. arc. Oh, so oh, well, now we're in space colony arc. We're just here now. Before he left. <laughs> So it's, 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 okay. All right, so we gotta find the control room, I guess. Yep. It's like, th there's so much of a, a gap in, like, the hero campaign and this campaign that, like, time progresses very quickly in this campaign. It does. I was, uh, like, he has these little sound bites. One of my favorite sound, uh, sounds that he does is when sometimes he hits an enemy and he's just like, you! <laughs> <laughs> that always cracked me up. Ah, well, that's oh. the quick way of doing it. Yeah. Oh, there's the lasers. <laughs> you walk right into them. <laughs> oh, I, I always like the if I once I figured out like you could raise them by being good to them is the, like the dark characters. Uh, I would always go as Eggman because whenever you call, you like cuddle them and like you're holding them, he always goes like yosh. Yosh. <laughs> it's just <laughs> he keeps saying it over and over. Oh, if we find the chow box, we have to show people. It's oh, so it's dark, hilarious. I can barely see anything. <laughs> well, like, yeah, you gotta apparently blow stuff up to turn on the lights. I don't know what to blow up. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, see, whenever you shoot, the the explosion is your light. Okay, well, I'm done. Did that just instant kill you? I was trying or... to get to the platform. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, you probably already had some damage. I was like, I don't remember that stuff instantly killing you. <laughs> 
no. I, I thought he was. I thought he was gonna say. I thought he was gonna go like yo. <laughs> I love it when he does that. He's like yo. Wait, do you have like a little spotlight on your character? Yo. Like, yeah, see, he just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's more responding to like the combo kills. <laughs> I love it when he says that. I don't yeah. know why. It just cracks me up. Yo. <laughs> What? Did you just try and punching bag the dynamite? <laughs> I don't. I know. heard a spring noise. <laughs> the darn. <laughs> yeah, the, the lights turn on when you destroy stuff. You are illuminating your way with explosions. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I guess I just gotta keep blowing shit up. <laughs> um, I don't have anything to blow up right now. This door. Yes, obviously. <laughs> I'll, I'll, th th does that thing have red eyes? What? That that that. Omo Chow? He had no. red eyes. No, he has like. I, he, he. I just saw him. He had red eyes. Editor, throw that up real quick, okay? <laughs> I swear he had red eyes. Oh, Omo Chow is helpful. It creeped me. It creeped me out for a second. He, was, he would never. He's like desire the. He was like he was looking flesh. at me like I will feast on your source. Look, he has red eyes. Look. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you leave Omo Chow alone in the dark. He becomes twisted and <laughs> crazy. I will destroy you and everything you own, dear. <laughs> okay, we gotta jump on one of those platforms, I guess. Um, how do you get to them without being damaged? <laughs> Just get a running start. Um, and wait for it to bob down. I was kind of thinking like it might come closer, but it's not no, it, it, they do not move. Yeah, right. Ah, there, okay, you go. there you go. It I, didn't work uh, last time. Oh, maybe Wait, we have what? to shoot that. Oh. Hey. Okay, maybe there is something else we gotta do. Run, run along the platform in the center and see if there's something we missed behind us. Wait, what? Like jump, jump back across. Oh, he said he's saying it when he jumps too. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, <hey>, yo. <laughs> Why does he do that? He's like, yo, yo. Gosh. Okay, uh, uh, what, does Omocha have uh, anything helpful to say to us? Alright, let's see what the demon has to say. Brightens the room so you can see better. <sighs> okay, there's gotta be something else we're missing in this room. Shoot one of those canisters so we can actually see. Um, which one? The, the, the things that eventually hope you locked on something. There you go. There we go. Wait, I uh, just saw something. Oh, that's where we need to go. There, there's a little thing. The grabby thing. How do you get to it? Good. Oh, there, is there a bumper? Yeah, there's a bumper. Wait, so we gotta jump to the bumper? I, I guess. Uh, uh, ah! No. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I legitimately I, don't know what to do. I feel like we're missing the hover upgrade somewhere. But I, I don't know. I, mm. I feel like the hover this upgrade is something is, that you need here. Place is getting tricky. Ow. Okay, did we miss the hover upgrade or something? No, it, it would be in this level. Somewhere. Ow. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I know. I know. I understand. Nobody has to say anything. I know. I'm just the worst at this game. Oh, you're, you're improving day by day. <laughs> Even though this is your first day. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the first recording session of the Dark Campaign. The Dark Canopy? The Dark Campy. The Dark Compy. Ah! There you go. You gotta look. I just destroy everything. You gotta look out for them Roombas, dude. Did you hit Omo Chow? <laughs> like, I don't care. He's a demon. Oh, he has to what die. What happened? He has to uh, die. I'm thinking dude. you gotta you gotta get that that bumper, dude. I how do you get over there, dude? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know, dude. I see you can't make it over there without the hover. <laughs> I'm lost, and mm. it's so this level's so dark too. So I don't All right, know. Well, we'll uh. We'll go ahead and end it here, and we'll 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 figure out what's going on uh, next time on. <laughs> Fuck this game! Aw, no, it, it it is 
the paragon of sonic ingenuity. Whatever. <laughs> I... whatever. <laughs>